Alright, we're going to install this. No. So I want this. I think this is pretty much all I need right here. Alright, after installing uh, the ADK package, you run deployment and imaging tools environment from the administrator and you use this command you can actually use any sort of thing but I'm using this to extract it to my desktop and this part is for what sort of build it is if you have 64-bit you have AMD 64 if you have 32-bit you have i386 so I'm hitting enter You see it created a thingy here. Media. Not. Hmm. Alright, and for our next step. Alright, I have adjusted this command line. And your command is make winpe media slash iso and um, wherever this file is, this folder is, and wherever you want your iso to be, which is the second command. Alright, it made it. So, we're gonna try to do a bunch of stuff with it. Alright, I have WinPE running in a virtual box. This is basically what it is. Um, okay. So I'm gonna try to do something really similar to what we're doing. Going to be doing. Alright, I figured it out. And basically what you do is you use this command and this is your external hard drive whatever it is you can find out by basically rotating through the letters and during them doing a directory call and this is the hard drive you're copying from so you hit enter this is supposedly safe for even your really huge files, so it should be alright. So, basically copies them over. Yep, just make sure you're storage you're copying to is large enough. You could even copy over a certain directory to your hard drive doing this, but I don't prefer this method because it's very command line-ish. So, that's pretty much it. Um, this is basically what I'm demonstrating here by doing a WinPE. The Windows way, where it's completely easy, and that was very sarcastic. Anyway, this is method two. Um, like and subscribe for more. <sighs>